Hello again. Hey, you guys. Hello again. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Congratulations very well. on the film again. Thank you so much. Um, how have you taken to the response so far? You obviously premiered last year at festivals. And everything. It seems to have been been going down quite well so far. Last year, that's right. Yeah, uh, we were very lucky. We went to Toronto, which is a fabulous festival, fabulous audience. Um, they loved it, and and uh, that was a real honour to open it there for the first time. Palm Springs, we also went to again. Fantastic audience, very very supportive of cinema movie making um, so it's been great and we're really excited and thrilled to be bringing it to London tonight it's, it feels like a very cinematic sort of communal experience this particular this particular film I mean are you excited for it to go in cinemas because you could have quite easily gone to streaming and, and have that side of it one of the, I'm, I'm really happy you said that because it's one of the things that I'm most proud of having worked with Studio Canal for them it's really really important that they make movies not just for the audience but for an, a cinematic a cinema going audience that the experience of being a shared experience with people you know people you don't know is like nothing else it's one of the most important parts of making a movie that's what i make me movies for it's fabulous then later on to watch it at home with people no problem but to have that experience to sit in the cinema with people nothing beats it so i'm really 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 proud of the fact that they have supported the movie to this degree and that hopefully we can make some people laugh yeah so in terms of uh, laughing and, and comedy i mean there's a lot more happening in the film but with comedy is one of the great things that i love is the gag reel and i can imagine with this one there would be quite a quite a doozy how, how was the how was the editing for that having to take out a lot of the the yeah, gag reels it, you know except the funny thing was because there was so much swearing within the movie in a funny way maybe that's slightly less than you anticipate because we're, we were all doing it willy-nilly um, the hardest thing in many ways was for me to keep a straight face in some of the scenes because the actors were so brilliant I just lost my shit all the time and I had to get into smaller and smaller corners so that they wouldn't distract them with all my laughing on my shoulders kind of going up and down um, so that's a new one for me but again you know that's a that's a nice problem to have yeah. I've, I spoke to other filmmakers over over the years I've been doing this about how hard comedy is sometimes to direct and bring to the screen did you find it quite harder than the other things that you've done in, in your career so far comedy is notoriously much harder than drama much harder um, partly because it's, you need to keep somebody's confidence up. If something doesn't work and you need to go again, you need to keep the confidence up in order for them to be brave enough to go again. So comedy is a craft that people have to work at to get to a level where they understand the timing. It's all about the listening. Um, and that's why I have the cast that I have, because all of them have got amazing comedy backgrounds. Um, they all understood the script. They all understood what the script needed. It looks easy. We all know how hard it is to, well, let's put it the other way. It's really easy to get a joke wrong. You tell a joke, if it doesn't work, it just falls dead on its feet. So to learn what an audience needs is not, you know, not easy and takes time. Is that one of your, as a final question, one of your tasks as a filmmaker when you've got these roles and you need them to be funny, that you want to cast the best actors because they are, even if they're small roles, they add something to the plot and add something to the comedy? You know what, if they are really good actors, like this guy here who is amazing, I mean he's amazing, Jason Watkins, it's not one of the lead parts, but he didn't mind that. For him he understood why the part was so important. That's everything to me. To get a cast who are in because of the project as a whole, not just for themselves, that sets the tone. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! Hey, <laughs> that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey!